Lift your hands to Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Majesty, Majesty, Your grace has found me just as I am, empty-handed but alive in Your hands. Majesty, Majesty, yeah. Majesty, forever, forever I am changed by Your love. In the presence, in the presence of Your Majesty. One more time. Sing majesty. majesty, sing majesty, yeah. majesty. Your, grace Your grace has found me just as I am. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Out of the lips of babes and sucklings, you have perfected praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Hallelujah. When your desire becomes, your desire for lifting becomes greater than your desire to know him and to love him there will be a problem in your christian life believe me when i tell you this when your desire to love him and to know him becomes less than your desire to be a good preacher and a celebrity you will be in trouble one thing have i desired not to work miracles one thing have i desired not just to have results in my life as important as these things are one thing have i desired that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Believers, hear me. We must get to a point in our lives where the entirety of our lives is hinged on our love and our passion for Jesus not just God because God means many things Jesus is that advocates the image of the invisible God are we together now yes in as much as we are here tonight to receive miracles we are here to celebrate the mighty hand of God and this he will do I am telling you in order of priority more than the focus on miracles or breakthrough or the desire to see our requests come to pass, we must set our eyes on Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. You know that song? You know the song? 
Oh dear. And the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. That means the more you focus on Jesus, you will find out that many things you think are worries are not really worries. They are worries to the degree to which your lack of concentration has magnified them. There are many things we call worries today in our lives that are not worries. Believe me when I tell you, they are only worries because our ego made them so. They are worries because our lack of faith made them so. They are worries because our carelessness towards focusing on Jesus made them so. When you are distracted in your focus on Jesus, the devil magnifies every other thing to stop you from that focus. Why would he say to look at the brazen serpent when there were other serpents that were coming to kill them? Would you watch a serpent come to, to kill you and then you wouldn't run away. He said, don't be distracted at the ones on the ground. Just lift your eyes and look. For as long as you look at that, the one on the ground will have no power over you. Powerful. For as long as you can look at him, the one on the ground will have no power over you. Hallelujah. So don't come to church expecting to receive miracles minus your encounter with Jesus. Don't come to church to receive a, the grace for a job. Thank God for the wonderful testimonies. But let me tell you, everything becomes profitable in your life when it is with respect to Jesus. Prosperity with respect to Jesus. Lifting with respect to to Jesus open doors with respect to Jesus so every for every amen you will shout tonight let your spirit man say amen and let it be with respect to Jesus not amen as the marketing of flesh now receive the grace for favor and you say amen amen means let that money come and let me prove to people that this thing is working is unnecessary Are we together now? When people come to church, many times they are not interested in Jesus. They are interested in the preacher. They are interested in the worshipers. They are interested in the excellence. And that is wonderful. But you, you, you will be surprised how people can start a service from the opening prayer to the grace. And there is nothing Jesus that will cross their minds. You have to discipline your spirit man to get to a point where Jesus becomes the central focus. Thank God for the vessels that he uses, but it is a stupid thing when a messenger claims he is greater than the sender. When you are a messenger, it means that someone gave you a message to deliver. Is that true? The one who is greater is not the messenger, dear people of God. The one who is greater is the one who sent. Because he's the one who backs. He's the one who pays for you while you are going. The moment the messenger becomes greater than the sender. Nigeria. The gospel in Nigeria. The gospel in Africa. The moment the messenger becomes greater than the sender. You will now begin to defend yourself. When I sent you, lackest thou anything not when you went that means when people see you it's easy for them because of the excellency of your delivery to assume you are the sender you must remind them reminding them may sting your ego but it will lift you reminding them may look like you are demeaning your influence we live in a world where everybody wants to be influential. Everybody wants to be the celebrity. Everybody wants to be the one, you know, you want people. We live in a, 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 a social media world. Everyone wants to snap with you, to leverage on that credibility and that deception. It drives us into believing that our lives without Jesus will still make sense can i tell you the truth the bible is full of people who started with jesus and in the presence of an excelling life 
they attempted to ignore him and he respected their choice read their end a man like solomon who saw the manifested presence of god twice in his life he got to a point where he rejected jesus rejected god and then at the end of his life here's what he had to say vanity upon vanity this man had most of the things we are praying for the things we wrote in our prayer request now he had it jesus is what gives value and fulfillment if you are here and you are a preacher please listen to me no matter what you preach no matter what you say i beseech you by the mercies of god draw people's attention to jesus more than yourself you will not go down when you lift jesus as he's rising you will rise too john 17 and verse 1 jesus lifted up his eyes to heaven and said father the hour has come glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee this is the protocol so every time god desires to be glorified he he gets glory by investing his glory in the son so when god wants to be lifted higher because you are the one lifting him he will lift you higher too are we together there are people who will not pay attention to jesus do you know you can come into church and with powerful worship like this, with a sound word like this, there are people who will sit down and not pay attention to anything Jesus. But let the manifestation of the Spirit start. Signs and wonders, miracles, they are suddenly alive. Let there be a moment for impartation of power and they are alive. You see the thirst and the desperation and you are tempted to ask, what did you really come to find? Did you come to seek Jesus? Or did you come to just seek his hands? You really get the best of a man when you get his heart, not his hands. My son, give me your heart. Keep your brain first. Give me your heart. He says, and let your, let your eyes be observant or inclined to my ways. Satan is comfortable with any other thing we say, provided Jesus is out of it. Any other thing we say, no matter how right or wrong, it does not threaten Satan. The moment the Jesus factor is out of it, he is comfortable. You keep preaching. You keep doing what you are doing. Matthew chapter 4 and verse 19. Matthew 4, 19. Jesus again said unto them, Koinonia, he said, follow me. You want to be made? Don't follow it. Follow me. You are not called to follow it. You will have it. All the things the Gentiles run after, provided you follow me. Follow me and I will make you. He made them fishers of men. He can make you anything. Follow me and I will make you that man of God. Follow me, and I will make you that businessman. Follow me, and I will open that door. Your concentration is on me, not what I will make you. Uh -uh. What I will make you, leave it to me. Your attention should be on me. When you keep your eyes on Jesus, you will turn and look at your life and see that you have become the prayer request of many people, even without knowing, because you chose to follow him. Tonight in this place, in this building, all the overflows outside and those following from around the nations, this is our last miracle service. And I know for sure, not by word of knowledge, but by the integrity of scripture, that there are people seated here who are number one, not serious with Jesus. Number two, have never truly made an intentional decision You've made a decision to come to church. You've made a decision to be a worker in church. Maybe you've even made a decision to have a Christian name. That is different from being genuinely interested in the things of God. Can I tell you, you will never truly find peace and find rest until Jesus becomes your savior, the one who saves you. Two, 
becomes your Lord, the authority that you submit under. Number three, he becomes your king. When this happens, you will find peace that surpasses all understanding. When this happens, you will be prepared to make the, a destiny that counts. And I say this especially because there are many young people who come to church nowadays and honestly speaking, Jesus is not their focus. They shout in church, they make noise, you would think they are serious. I'm not being sarcastic. You look at their life, there is no conversion, there is no growth, there is no intention, just loitering around the things of the spirit for the purpose of history, not transformation. History. I was there. I saw it. Oh, when that one got up from a wheelchair, I saw it. But they are never changed. And I'm sure there are such people here. There is no program they did not go for. There, there was nothing powerful that happened in 2021 that they were not witnesses. Yet they did not change. It is these ones that the Bible says ever learning and never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Tonight, more than a sermon. Tonight, more than a charge. Tonight, more than admiring an anointed man. Believe me when I tell you, you need Jesus. Not you want him. You need Jesus. Your life depends on it. Here and in the afterlife. And I know that as I'm speaking, the Holy Spirit is amplifying what I'm saying. I'm speaking to someone and saying it is time to win that war. Now, you see, the thing about God is he will never force you. Even at the detriment of your eternal salvation, he will give you that honor of making that choice. Most people again come out. Just because you come out and stand here does not mean you are born again. Please look at me. Everyone, please look up. Just because you come and stand here and for some of us, you recited a poem and repeated after the man of God, it does not automatically mean that you were saved. It has to be from your heart. There are times you see people come out for an altar call and they are laughing, pinching one another. Half of, of the salvation prayer, they don't say it. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. That's the only thing they say. And then they say, amen. You were not born again. Not by the authority of scripture. The Bible says for with the heart. With the heart, not with the feet. Your feet can go forward while your heart is still sitting on your seat. With the heart, man believes unto righteousness. And then with the mouth, confession is made that leads to salvation. That is the protocol. So many people come out and recite and say all of these things and then leave and truly you know they were not saved this is one of the reasons why you can pray for them from now till next week they never get filled with the Holy Ghost because they were not saved it's one of the reasons why people cannot receive the baptism because that salvation experience was not really true hallelujah Jesus is calling us I don't know about you, but he's the one who helped me. Oh. My dear people, listen to me. Without Jesus Christ, we're only acting a movie right here. Thank God for the excellence. Thank God for administration. The whole world is watching. And we're not ashamed to let them know if there is anything that is noteworthy in this life and in this ministry is because we took our attention away from ourselves and to project Jesus. And he says, if you are this valuable to me, then I will keep you. Preachers, let's minimize all this attracting attention to ourselves. There is honor that befits priesthood. And that honor should be given to the measure required. But our focus should be on Jesus. When our focus is on Jesus, all these petty things that destroy people, anger, jealousy, all these things, it does. there is no basis for it now. Because it is Jesus that you are, protect, you are projecting. Be lifted high. Be lifted high. Oh Lord. Be lifted high. For you are holy. Oh Lord, be lifted. A 
if you're in ministry here let me give you a sincere secret get ready for empty pews in this end time ministry if the attention remains on you you want the Lord to bring people as many who will be saved you must be able to serve people that meal of Jesus Jesus his person Jesus as the principles of the kingdom when your attention becomes on Jesus when we were little children growing up 90 to 95 percent of everything that was taught in Sunday school was with respect to Jesus the average child almost like a subliminal program in new John 3 16 you ask our children now John 3 16 and keep quiet and hear what they will tell you absolute nothing but ask them what is the latest app what is the latest um, phone I'm not saying those things are wrong but I'm saying something is wrong with our priority something is wrong we have to admit it this is a the first miracle is this deliverance of ignoring Jesus ignoring Jesus is an attack it's, it's a real attack the fact that the devil can prevail over your mind to trivialize Jesus is, is a sign that this attack is an, as an, 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 an advanced stage. Let me make the altar call now. When we make the altar call and we lift Jesus, then with joy and gladness, we can celebrate his mighty hand to heal, to deliver, and you see this is why miracles are very easy miracles are not very easy just because a man of God is anointed miracles become very very easy when the attention is on Jesus so everything that happens it can pass through the man of God but ultimately Jesus is glorified by the time the attention becomes on you your ego is on the line your reputation is on the line Jesus is completely ignored you will be forced to fabricate miracles there and if it does not work you carry your shame together with whatever you came with that the devil gave you and you go back to a life of pain but why don't you set yourself free from this burden of pain by magnifying Jesus if someone delivers a parcel and there is something wrong with the parcel the content of the parcel and provided it was sealed and delivered you don't blame the messenger you will call the office where you made that order the interaction was between you and the office the messenger only honored the office by bringing it to you so the pressure is on the office not the messenger but when you claim to be the messenger they now say okay i ordered a white shoe i need a black one you will have to look for a way of getting a black one immediately and you don't have it you are only a messenger no man can work miracles by himself except the Lord be with him this is what Nicodemus said to Jesus rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things we live in a world where it's very difficult to admit that there are things you cannot do because it looks like an expression of weakness but the strength of God looks for weakness when it finds weakness, it now empowers you to be strong indeed. Let me make an altar call. Jesus is calling as many today, three categories of people. Number one, those who are saying, Apostle, I never heard the gospel this way. A declaration of the love of Jesus and the need to prioritize him above all else. Category number one. Number two, those who are saying, I remember walking in the things of God, but right now as it is, I cannot say I am serious with the Lord. Number two. Number three, those who are saying, I don't even know the name of what I'm doing. I don't know whether I'm born again or not. You will join them. I'm going to count one to five. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. If you are still thinking about it after this message, I run like there's fire on the mountain. All the overflows. One. Please stand, please stand, please stand. Come Dave, you will sing for me. Whatever you want.
to say Lord you can say come to Jesus don't let anybody keep you on your seat if you know you need to be here leave whatever you came with and come to Jesus Christ Lord, you can change through me. Whoever you want to bless, Lord God. Oh, because I'm yours. I'm yours forevermore. you want to save Lord you can say through me whoever you want to heal Lord you can heal hallelujah I salute every one of you for coming to stand here young and old and I am safe to assume that you mean what you are saying by coming here hallelujah here's what the Bible says that whosoever will come to him he will in no wise cast away and I'm speaking to you who is watching right now in your home your office whatever platform Jesus is speaking to you right there where you are it's time to win that war it's time to allow Jesus become the epicenter of your life this is not just recruiting individuals into the Christian faith it's not a call to a religious activity it's a genuine call to a relationship that is alive and true hallelujah praise the name of the Lord I salute every one of you some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears you came here to encounter the Lord God of heaven may I request please that you lift your right hand everywhere whether you're inside outside provided you came out for the altar call lift your right hand let me tell you what it means to lift your hands to lift your hands means I will never struggle with you again to lift your hands means I relinquish ownership of my life and destiny to lift your hands means as I make this prayer, I've lost the ability to tell you no. To lift your hands is not just merely admitting that I am standing here. It's a declaration of total submission to his lordship. Now please say this after me. Jesus is right here. Let it be from the depth of your heart. There are destinies depending on this decision you're making. For some of you, it is as a result of this decision that God will use you mightily. For some of you, it's as a result of this decision that many things will begin to happen to you. For some of you, it is as a result of this decision that you will encounter the anointing in a marvelous way today. Say this after me, loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I make Jesus my Savior. I make Jesus my Lord. I make Jesus my King. I declare that eternal life is mine, is mine. Right, now. right now I also receive, I also receive the, abundance the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, gift of righteousness. I, go I go forward ever and backward never, and backward never. I, am I am a child of God amen. amen keep your hands lifted Father thank you only you is able to draw 
these men and women, young and old, to make a declaration in honor of the sacrifice of your son Jesus. And we thank you. You have brought them out and they have made this declaration. And therefore, by the integrity of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And I decree and declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over your life. Amen. You are recipients of the life of God. Amen. And you go forward ever and backward never. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, please look at me. Let me just give you an instruction. Um, there are a number of you and we don't want to take more than five, ten minutes to attend to you. Here's what will happen. There are counselors and they are going to lead you just a moment before you go. You just move to my right, which is your left. All of you, please take note of the cranes so that you don't enjoy yourself. You will move in concert. And what they will do is just to appreciate you. Have your details in a minute or two. Whatever they give you to feel, please do so very quickly and do so legibly. And you'll be back to your seat because we would, would start the miracle service proper. Um, shortly so we'll be patient and wait for you hallelujah and please do well counselors cooperate with them so that we'll make it very fast let's honor them as they go everyone please celebrate them I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours forever I'm yours I'm yours I'm yours my life is yours it's yours it's yours forever it's yours it's yours whatever you ask of me whatever you ask of me i surrender let it be from your heart Whatever you ask of me, you ask of me I, surrender. I surrender One more time Whatever you ask of me, you ask of me I, surrender. I surrender Hallelujah I'm um, if, if they need more hands, let's know so that we can send a few people, please. In the next five to ten minutes, let's have everyone back to their seats so that... Um, hallelujah. So what will happen... Praise God. What will happen is that we'll take the next five minutes to pray and cry for a visitation over our lives. And whilst we are doing that, we'll be waiting for them to come. We have to honor them to come very quickly so that we'll now have that time because I already sense it's like the waters are being stirred and there will be such a mighty and marvelous move of the Spirit tonight. I want you to be very expectant, very expectant and you will see the Lord move over your life. Before we pray, who came here from Cameroon? Cameroon. I just, who came from Cameroon? Come. Out of my belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. E -I -E -I -A. What do you do, sir? Pastor. You're a pastor. Can I pray for you? Because I stood here, the moment I spoke about prayer, the Lord spoke to me that there was a man of God from Cameroon. Thank you for coming first and foremost. In fact, let me do it this way. Oh dear. Aside from those who went out for an altar call, if you're a foreign delegate here, please stand. Please stand. All those who have come from anywhere outside of Nigeria, please stand. Let's celebrate them. Whether in the main auditorium, let's honor them. Give them a big, big God bless you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? 
Hallelujah. Now, every week we have people literally coming. Some of them come and wait for days just to encounter the Lord Jesus Christ. It's very humbling what God does in our midst. And we are people who are very discerning. And we may not do this every day. We may not do this every time. But that this is an opportunity to tell you thank you for taking that time to come from wherever the Lord brought you. May the Lord bless you. This is home for you any day and any time. And I assure you by God that he who sent you here will also honor you whilst you are here. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please be seated. Thank you again. So let me pray for you. Father, I pray for this man by the power of the Holy Spirit. He came all the way from Cameroon. And I don't know what it is with him, but you have given a word for him. Sir, I pray for you in the name of Jesus and by the privilege of this grace that we have received. May you step into a new season in ministry. In the marvelous name of Jesus, you will go back into a ministry of signs and wonders. You will go back into a ministry of the accurate communication of doctrine. In the name of Jesus, sound exegesis of scripture. And I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit that the grace of God will be mighty upon you. I pray that God will raise men and women who will stand by you even financially. In the name of Jesus, that there will be no limits to the exploits that you will do in Christ. Let the blessings that is upon this house rest on you. And everything you have seen here, go back and reproduce it in your ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God bless you. Please, let's rise. We're going to pray. Ta -da 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 -da. Ta da 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 Ta da 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 Prayer point number one. Father, everything that is not a representation of the life of Christ in and around my life, I declare that it must live right now. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. The Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my father, it declares that it will be uprooted. Pray. All the overflows, pray. Outside, pray. Following online, pray. Everything that is not the planting of Christ, it must be uprooted right now. Everything that is not the planting of Christ, pray. Manifesting as ill health, manifesting as some infirmity and some disease in your body, manifesting as occurrences and patterns in your life. Lift your voice and pray. Let it come on that judgment right now. Hallelujah. Second prayer point, 1 Samuel, 1 Samuel 12 and verse 6. I believe that should be the scripture. 1 Samuel 12 and verse 6. Yes. Please read with me. One to read. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron and that brought your fathers out of the land of Egypt. Who advanced them? The Lord. People don't just go forward in their lives. You don't just go forward because you are tired of where you are. There is a hand that can push a man from Egypt 
to the land of promise. You're going to pray. May that hand, that hand that can push men, mysteriously but surely, may that hand shift you to the next level. Lift your voice and pray. Someone pray. It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron. Advance my life, oh God. In the name of Jesus, let me encounter by your marvelous hand the grace that advances me. The grace that advances me. Go ahead and pray. Advancement, all wise. Advancement, all wise. Declare your advancement in the name of Jesus. Let this unction come upon you today and push you and shift you to a new dimension, a new level of spiritual experience. the lord that advanced hallelujah hallelujah i was i was over in zaria um just midweek down to the weekend before traveling for some other meetings and then coming here and when i went to zaria as as i I became very emotional as I was about to enter the city because I could see places where I once walked praying and prophesying and declaring that in the name of Jesus this vision will grow and will bless the world I could see places and I stood there and I said my God only a fool will say in his heart there is no God I saw the things that would look like a dream or some ambitious project happen at the instance of the hand of God with a level of God-like ease. It has to be God. Are we together now? I'm saying that to still establish this prayer. Don't ask, is it difficult for God to lift me? Honestly, if you say that you don't know God, this God that we're talking about, in one day he fed a whole nation, not a family, a nation, and there was a man who said, even if God will open the windows of heaven, this cannot be possible. He repeated that miracle when he fed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish. One more time, I'd like you to pray. Lord, I want to leave this current position. I am grateful for where you have brought me, but there is more for me in Christ. There is more for me in destiny. I obtain grace tonight that will advance me. Go ahead and pray. It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron and brought your fathers out of Egypt, the place of bondage. Someone is praying, take me to higher grounds, oh God, higher levels spiritually, higher levels financially multiplying your influence and your good hand upon my life for the sake of your kingdom in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ isaiah chapter 49 next prayer point Isaiah chapter 49. We'll begin our reading from verse 24. Please pay attention. Isaiah 49. Shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered? You know who a lawful captive is? 
A lawful captive is one who is in bondage legally. Are we together now? Yes. Lawful captive. That means there was a legitimate ground upon which the realm of the spirit found access to your life, your liberty, your family. There is such a thing as a lawful captive. But the Bible says, is there a possibility in the dealings of God with men that even those who are lawful captives, that means Satan has an authorized basis. He can stand to say, no, 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 no. I have on a legitimate ground. There is grounds to oppress this family. There is grounds to oppress this destiny. There is grounds to oppress this ministry. But the Bible says, even at that, in the dealings of God with men, is there a possibility for lawful captives to be delivered? 25. It says, Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. It, we, it's important for us to know who is talking. Because if it is not the Lord, if he says, Thus saith an angel, we're in trouble. Because angels are limited. But thus saith this sovereign authority, regardless the legal basis, there is still a possibility. It says, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will... Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's telling you how he will do it. Are we together now? Come, Dave, let me use you. Who, who else will come? Come, a doctor. Let me use two of you. Now, watch this. Let's assume, stand here. Since we're wearing white and white, you come. Watch this. Let's assume that this man, that I'm a terrorist. Are we together now? And then I hold this guy because for some reason, he gave me legal grounds to hold him. Are we together now? His family may not be able to help him. But then let's assume, for instance, that... No, no, let me not use terrorism. Let's assume that um, this man was a criminal. Are we together now? And say I'm the head of prisons or the correctional center and I've kept him there. And this is the president of that territory. In as much as there was a legal ground, this guy was ordered from court to be in jail for something he did. Is that true? The Bible says there is still a possibility. The possibility is not when they have already said there is no bail for you. Yet, at a certain time, the president, there is something called presidential pardon. Am I right on that? This is what God is saying. That although your family is where they are, because your grandfathers, the devil was minding his business, your grandfathers came and said, please, come and help us farm. And the devil said, for what in return? He said, help them please. He said, for the destiny of my children and my children's children. And the devil said, I will protect you from war. But make sure you serve me. Now the missionaries came and brought the gospel. And now you decided that I will not serve the devil again. He will not fold his arms and watch you. There is a basis for that oppression. But the Bible says, I will contend. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Have you known God as a warrior? Go and read your Bible. Hmm. Moses, he said, stand still. This fight is not your own. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. God can fight. Believe me. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, two angels, not God, two angels from heaven with hailstone, they wiped a whole people 
overnight two angels we don't even know their ranking in the angelic keda two angels i'm saying this because he's the one who will arise there are matters in families that are not allowing people go forward and just when the devil thinks he's getting away with it again like he has done before give us that scripture let's finish i will contend so back to my example now i'm holding this guy i'm holding doctor and keeping him in one place you will not move forward to manifest your destiny but i forgot that even me i am a citizen of a nation and then the president comes and says whatever it is i use my office remember that the position that you have that authorized you to keep this person was an appointment and the president both me and him two of us are subject to the president's decision are we together now yes so he comes to grant presidential pardon and then he does not just make that order from his place his villa he comes by himself and enters the correctional center and goes to the room and picks this man and i watch with pain as he leaves him i desire to keep him except that the lord strong and mighty i'm saying this because there are people god himself will reach down to your foundation and pull you out believe me when i tell you this reach down to your foundation once and for all listen let me tell you a little secret i don't i usually at the end of the year i take out time to just rest and make sure that you know i just have my little time to rest and prepare but a group of people came from my village and they said look you need to come there is fire on the mountain and you are blessing the whole world i said you people should leave me this is the end of the year i want to rest they said no you have to come and i i sat down when i looked at what was happening i said in as much as i love everybody in truth and without bias i love my own people too i told them i said you know what i'm coming and believe me let me tell you what i'm going to do by the spirit of god i'm going in partnership with the battalion of heaven there are there are things there are things that need to be settled. There are all these, all these wishing. See, the devil is not stupid. There are rules of engagement. Just desiring to be free does not bring freedom. There are rules of engagement. Are we together? I came here with a burden tonight because as I prayed, I asked the Lord, I said, Father, please, let people not come and, and cry and say amen and fall and stand up only to return back into frustration. But you see, listen, let me tell you this. You have to believe God tonight and be serious. Believe him and open up your heart and be determined that I'm not going back the way I came. The woman with the issue of blood said to herself, before Jesus arrived, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. There are men of God here, you make up your mind, I'm not going back with my head empty, no way. I traveled so far to come and receive an unction that will change my life. Business people, make up your mind that I'm not coming here to, to, to go back and live a life of struggle, living from hand to out, pillar to post, up today, down tomorrow. even the lawful captive and so he comes to pick him and goes with him and there is nothing the devil can do about it do you know why because the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof and the walls and all they that dwell therein so you are going to pray one prayer you are going to give a prophetic red card if i will use that expression to everything that is antichrist 
buried whether in foundations inheritance i like you to make a declaration in the name of jesus i'm cutting away from ordinances and handwritings speaking against the purposes of christ in and through my life go ahead and pray Pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Hallelujah. I'm ready to pray now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please let me beseech you whether you are an usher or not. If someone is under the anointing close to you, please help them. Let's be very, very fast so that we trust God to do much tonight. Hallelujah. I really want to take out time and minister this deliverance by the power of the Holy Spirit. And you will be shocked and surprised to see what happens to you. Let me start tonight with families where nobody rises. This is what I want to start with tonight. In truth, there are families where no matter how diligent you are, no matter how hardworking you are, it looks like there is a demonic embargo. You see people travel abroad and return back after 10 years in shame. They study to PhD. Some of them even become professors, yet they cannot feed their families. Why? Because there are horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah and against Jerusalem. Now I want to pray. By the power that resides in the Christ, I decree and declare please bring them out very quickly everyone here under the sound of my voice in the main auditorium inside and outside whose life and family is under the yoke of this wicked spirit that will not allow you rise at the count of three you're going to shout the name Jesus and at the shout of that name that fire will fall from heaven and set ablaze everything that is antichrist. Are you ready now? Thank you, Father. One, two, three. Shout, Jesus. I command every yoke, every altar, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, every family that will not be allowed to rise, we bring judgment against those forces in the name of jesus bring them out by the power that raised christ from the dead be judged now be judged now be judged now wherefore god had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name that at the mention of the name of jesus every knee should bow and every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. Bring them out, please. I'm still praying. Son of man, what seest thou? And he said, four horns. These are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah, against Jerusalem, so that no one doth lift up his head. He said, but I have sent four carpenters. I am still praying. Every family here that is a victim of the covenant of ancestry, Shabakata Kapatakata, 
Shabrente ke bakatos, ebre ke baskadiata, bekeni kaposiata. Covenants of ancestry. Your fathers worship idols. Your fathers worship all kinds of things. And now the children are victims of this by the blood of the eternal covenant. You're still going to shout Jesus. Let there be liberty right now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Be free now. Be free now from yokes, foundations, ordinances, wicked orchestrations of darkness. Let them go now. Let them go now. The Bible declares, He who the Son sets free is free indeed. Bring them out. Most of the challenges you see that believers go through aside from the issues that relate to ignorance and lack of accurate spiritual understanding most of the challenges are tied and connected to orchestrations of demons i'm still praying ah The Lord is opening my eyes again. And like he always shows me, I'm seeing Kogi state. Kogi state. I'm seeing fire falling on people right now. Kogi state. Every orchestration planted that is tying men down in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. I bring you liberty right now. I bring you liberty right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I bring you liberty right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray a prayer of release. God is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the hands of people tied. When your hands are tied spiritually, no matter what you do physically, believe me, it will not work. You will do the best that you know to do. But I'm about to pray. Those chains will be broken right now. Father, every hand that is tied in the realm of the spirit, affecting their productivity, their capacity to make structural progress at, in the name of Jesus Christ. Kapato katebata. My God, I'm seeing fire falling at the count of three. One, two, three. Let that fire fall now. Fall now in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there someone with the name Monica? Monica, I'm hearing the name Monica. Monica, don't just stand up and go. There is a reason why I ask that they bring them out. I'm about to pray for them. Monica, I'm hearing the name Monica. I don't know if that is your name. These are the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit. Monica, I'm also hearing the name Adams. Who is Adams? Adams. Oppression must come to an end right now. Adams. I'm hearing a name Adams. Who is Monica? Please verify that that is their name. You are Monica. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on a woman right now. You get pregnant, but it never crosses three months. The moment is past three months, you will have a dream in the night. And the moment you have that dream, you will lose that pregnancy. Right now. 
the power of God is coming upon that woman right now I decree and declare wherever she is wherever she is I break that hold now I break that hold Monica let me pray for you please I want you to hold two people who will now begin to run by the anointing and come out because I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent this I'm seeing like a snake this is what I'm seeing I'm not saying they are snakes but this is just what God is showing me in the name of Jesus hold them and bring them out let me pray for you my goodness Monica two of you there is there is fire that is falling on you now I just saw a strong anointing I'm praying for all of you but this tie of witchcraft over your life it must go right now I stretch my hands father according to your word in the name of Jesus help them please I command that oppression go now out of them now in the name of Jesus Christ out of them now release their lives and release their destinies hallelujah the Lord is showing me a gentleman you work with civil defense civil defense this is what I'm seeing you are a gentleman you work with civil defense I'm not giving your name but the Lord is saying you work with civil defense if there is such a person please let me pray for you very quickly because we are still going to minister deliverance Adams let me pray for you In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you, Adams. The power of God is coming on one of you. The Lord is saying you are ending a season and beginning a new one. I decree and declare right now, may that anointing come upon you. I shift you to help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, please take care. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare right now, let there be liberty for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ where do you work my friend civil defense what's your name paul how long have you been there 10 years 10 Nine, years yeah, I joined 2000 and, 2012. have you gone abroad yes do you know why i'm saying that i'm not a prophet of doom but i'm seeing you inside a plane and i'm seeing god taking you out of this country this is what i'm seeing this is, this is like, I don't know if it's that you and your family are moving, but God is just telling you to prepare because your days, they are numbered. God is shifting you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, let it be for you even as he has spoken. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be for you as he has spoken. For all those who are out here under the anointing, I command the spirits and the devils oppressing them and their families. I speak as one sent and I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. I declare leave their destinies and their families now. Go, go, go out of their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of their destinies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Release them and everything you have taken from their lives and their destinies. Let there be a sevenfold restoration now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I want to pray. There are families where people rise and they get to a particular point and just when they are about to climax in their pursuit and their career, something must happen to them and bring them down in shame. There are many people like that and there are many families like that. Diligent people they get to the zenith of their pursuit and then something brings them down. I want to pray over those people right now. 
and the power of God is going to come upon them. I'd like for your heart to be open and I want you to receive it as a prayer. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every family under this kind of yoke that rises to get to a particular point and just when you are at the apex, the climax, the zenith of your pursuit, these forces bring you down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now, I'm praying. There are two ladies that will shout now under the anointing based on this prayer. The moment that happens, the power of God will begin to move to touch people. This is what the Lord is telling me. Two ladies whose families and lives are victims of this. In the name of Jesus, the moment that happens, the power of God will begin to set people free. Two ladies. Help them. Please bring them out. We are praying right now. Everyone under the sound of my voice whose life and family are a victim of this manifestation of rising to a particular point and going down. Right now I decree and declare be, be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. Be delivered in the name of Jesus. I want to rebuke the spirit of delay. Now hear me. There are people here, you may not necessarily be victims of delay directly, but your, your pace of growth is too slow. What can be done in one month takes you 10 years. I don't mean to insult you, but there are some of you you've been building forever and it looks like the grace to finish is not there. I tell you, the, the fire of God will fall on many people based on this prayer. I'm about to pray and you will shout that name. That everything that has tied your life and destiny, bring in delay. You know that delay is at work in your life when the only thing that grows in your life is your age. Nothing else grows, only your age. You know that there is delay there. Therefore, I pray right now, my God, I sense fire even on my own hands. In the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. As you shout that name inside and outside, everyone who is a victim of that oppression, that demonic structure, will be liberated right now. I decree and declare, against the spirit of delay, we come against you by the power that is in the blood of Jesus. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, Three, shout Jesus. Delay. Be broken now. Help them, my God. Delay. Be broken now. Over lives. Over families. Be broken now. Hallelujah. Many years ago, I used to have demon spirits come to oppress me. And because of the prophetic, I would see these spirits enter. I would shout in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, and nothing would happen. Because the real miracle is not in the chanting of the name like a charm or a genie is in the revelation of it but the lord is opening my eyes right now please look at me there are people you would have made maximum progress pay attention but you go back to bed and you are seeing yourself in secondary school you are seeing yourself in i want to pray how it came what happened almost all of them had similar dreams maybe not exactly the same but similar they go to bed and someone comes to them with a syringe like a, a real syringe in a dream and injects them and tells them this is hiv 
Are we together? And they wake up and after a few months, they begin to have physical symptoms. They go to the hospital and they will tell you this thing is demonic. And because of their fear to not be stigmatized, they will not seek help and not say anything and keep quiet until it eats them up. I declare liberty. I declare liberty. There is a lady I'm praying for you by the Spirit because I'm seeing that there seems to be this fraternity and this spiritual union with entities that anybody who comes and is considering you whether for marriage or whatever it looks like there is this something suddenly happens the jealousy and the manifestation of this spirit will completely abort that agenda in the name of Jesus right now I'm praying Bring them out. Kaparato sheteketia. Shida bagata baruski ata badakata. Krato sheteketia. That's right. Mandika baruski kata. Ebreketo shida dabata. I decree and declare, whatever spirit is binding itself to you in this false spiritual union, we break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. We break that relationship now. There are whole families that are victims of this. Not just individuals. I'm still praying. I don't know why God is showing me women. I know that this affects both men and women. But I'm seeing women. I'm still praying. Right now, every embargo that has covered your glory and your face so that the good that should come to you does not arrive right now in the hapakatoshkate bakata shabrendekete baratusiata be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus be delivered in the name of jesus hallelujah please look at me I want to pray a very serious prayer for you now and I want you to pay attention. There is a mystery in the spirit called the book of remembrance. The Bible says in the book of Esther that once upon a time a man who sat at the gate who was an uncle to the village girl that would later become queen over 127 provinces Hadassah or Esther the Bible now says one time they conspired to kill the king Ahasuerus and Mordecai was privy to that information and he supplied that information and it preserved the life of the king but the king forgot him there are many of you here if your effort and your contribution to the life of others were to be rewarded you would never be where you are but in a strange way there seems to be a spirit that trails your progress you help the rising of many but it looks like you are forgotten i'm about to pray for you because something is coming on you listen 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 can i tell you this god does not forget but men and forget believe me when I tell you that the distance between you and your next level is one destiny helper away this is the world of men God uses men to lift God uses men to help the wine presser and the baker they were both helped by Joseph and Joseph made a plea and said, I am in this prison, but I am innocent. I don't have the power to advocate my innocence. Please, when you are reinstated, use your influence to talk to the king, the pharaoh for me, that they should come and get me out of this place. The one press I forgot him for two years. One man's forgetfulness. 
added two years of pain to another man but the bible says that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and when they opened it they found there they read it before him and he said who is in the chamber there Haman was there the arch enemy of the people of God he said what shall be done to a man who has done so and so I want to pray for you now when I came into this city I found out that over arguably 50 to 70 percent of the opportunities and the lifting of men in this city is purely by relationship even beyond competence relationships someone can stand by you and hold your hand and wipe your tears forever just because of relationship can i tell you this there are many competent people who cannot rise because the person to speak their praises to the kings is not there can i pray for you this is my assignment tonight many pastors have helped the rising of many and they've been forgotten they do ministry as if they are not called many business people participated in the lifting of others and were long forgotten many of you here you played major roles in the rising of people in this city and as it is no one seems to pay attention to you i want to pray grace on your life right now in the name of jesus christ the spirit that makes your helpers to forget you i decree and declare that spirit departs from your life now receive it it departs from your life now hear me this man standing before you is I am I am by the mercy of God the recipient of the remembrance of people who God used me to help and to lift at one point or the other believe me when I tell you when your helpers remember you one day can be equivalent to 10 years for you let me pray for you there are jobs here there are visions here that are the mercy of the grace of God through help us right now by the power of the prophetic for everyone who has been forgotten here leaving you in shame leaving you in pain I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open for you now let the book of remembrance archiving your diligence archiving your honesty archiving your sincerity archiving your competence let it be open for your sake now there are people standing here right now whose documents are under the carpet in many offices i will do something about it and they sweep it under the carpet and leave it there sir have you considered uh, we will we'll do something and sweep it there in the name of jesus wherever it was swept to we bring it out to visibility we bring it out to visibility in the name of jesus christ we'll, we'll pray for the sick shortly but let me pray one more one more prayer it is possible for your helpers to come late life is a function of timing it is possible for your helper to come but then to come late the value of help is when it comes on time let me repeat it again the value of help is that it comes on time listen to me there are many people today if help came on time their loved ones will not be dead help came when they were buried 
and someone will say ah i didn't know the text you sent me the mail you sent me if i had seen it i would have supported i want to pray for you it's not enough to call for help help must come on time it says satisfy me early with your mercy in the name of jesus christ everywhere help has been ordained to come for you between november and the end of this year in the help them my god help them up the balcony there in the name that is above all names between november i'm saying it by prophecy i stand under this apostolic and prophetic grace may your help not escape december 2021 believe it believe it believe it may your help let it not escape december 2021 therefore i prophesy to the east i prophesy to the west i prophesy to the north and to the south wherever your help is i gravitate towards your destiny I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and it healed your disease. I am the Lord. One more time with faith in your heart. I am the Lord, I am the Lord that He led thee. He led thee. I, I am the Lord, Lord your healer. I sent my word and it healed your disease. listen the bible says jesus was speaking and he said as my father has sent me he said even so send i you as my father sent me with the same mandate and the same backing the same mandate and the same backing my mission was to reveal the love of the father and to connect the world to the father so that they walk back in that dominion and they become envoys envoys advocates kings and priests now i send you but to do that you will need the equipping the backing of heaven so how god anointed jesus of nazareth when jesus came and stood up for to read luke chapter 4 says that it was given to him the scroll of isaiah's and he found where it was written concerning him that the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he hath anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek he had sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to release to preach deliverance to them who are captive and recovery of sight and to set at liberty them that are bruised and then when he was done reading he said the bible says he closed the book and kept it and sat down and he said this scripture is fulfilled in your eyes the healing ministry is one of the cardinal ministries that reveal the love of jesus why because the authorized means of remaining on the earth is that you must have a mortal body listen this is the theology of healing healing is not merely just administering the power of god to a human body it's an attempt by the spirit of god to bring you to a point of health and vitality because the spirit of man or any spirit 
requires a certain health condition in a human body to be able to remain. When the body is broken and deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, the spirit will have to be separated from the body in an event we know and call death. Are we together now? So every time you are sick, it's like death knocking on your door. Would you give me a chance? From a slight a sickness as headache, pain, whatever it is. So when Jesus comes, to bring healing through his servants it is his commitment to preserve you in health and vitality so that you can have the body prepared for you to be able to do that which he has mandated you to do you're sick in your body now is the time for you to receive your healing i want you to lay your hand very quickly i truly believe in the healing ministry the last three months the lord has been speaking to me again that some of the manifestations of the power of God that we saw with the generals are fathers of blessed memory who have joined the cloud of witnesses today. Most of them moved marvelously in the 60s and the 70s across Europe, across the US, and even in Africa here. There were men and women. Most of them died living a prophetic word that a moment will come in the history of the church and in the future of the church where there will be a marvelous move of the spirit and young men and women will arise and there will be a restoration of that healing mantle. Can I tell you sincerely, our generation has not really, once if you are younger than, respectfully speaking, say 45 downwards or maybe 40 downwards, that generation has not really witnessed the move of the spirit, the healing ministry with power, the way that most of our parents and our fathers would tell us. Sometimes you will hear the things that they would say and you would think they were exaggerations. I've had the honor and the privilege of meeting a few people before they passed on who were marvelously used by God to change nations. And my concern was not just impartation from them. I wanted to ask them, what were the prophetic words that you received? And I can tell you this, before Jesus returns, once again, that water, that pool will be stirred in a remarkable way. Believe me when I tell you this. There's gonna be a great awakening. There's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening. And everyone who calls on Jesus I'm going to pray for the sick now but I want you to know know this for sure that the move of the spirit is coming and before we round up this service tonight I will pray I know that there may be one or two people here that God is already training you as part of that glorious, that mighty army that will carry these end time mantles of healing. For you, you did not just come for a miracle service to receive. You are still in the, in, 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 God is still working on you. Be patient with him. We are not just talking of healing in a service. Headache, wheelchair, thank God for that. But men whose shadows like Peter will heal the sick i believe this with all my heart i believe this with all my heart that before jesus comes believe me when i tell you there will be such a move of the spirit ordinary people men and women you have not seen them on tv yet nobody even knows them they may not be in active ministry yet no one is celebrating them the lord is training them pruning them building them and when he's ready, he will blow them like a shofar to the nations. And I tell you, Africa and Nigeria has a major prophetic role to play in taking back this healing anointing to the nations. I believe this. It will happen in our lifetime. We will see it. Like natural resources, we will export the power of God as a commodity to the nations. 
believe me when i tell you this men and women will carry fire some of you god will send you to europe to go back and salvage the decadence that is going there some of you god will send you back to us canada send you across even to asia for now let's pray for the sick please lay your hand as a point of contact i want you to believe in the power of jesus to heal i know he heals i don't just believe he heals i know that jesus heals oh nobody like you lord nobody like you lord oh nobody like you lord now do you know i was so humbled when i found out that many hospitals in abuja here and many hospitals across the nations people who are with patients connect to the miracle service like so many are doing right now you've heard of the marvelous miracles of people in the hospital very humbling to see what the power of god is doing and if you are in the hospital right now connecting with someone whatever the situation is i want you to believe lay your hands and let's pray as i pray for you i want you to shout a loud amen i will rebuke that spirit and command that spirit to give way now um i don't know how we'll do it because this is the last miracle service and i have a section for impartation so what we are going to do is um, probably we may not have people come out to share testimonies. Let's just, let's just um, let's sacrifice that section of the meeting. In as much as it's good to declare the faithfulness of God, but there is a lot. We still have prayer requests here. And then I still want to take out five, ten minutes and release something upon your life. A, a marvelous manifestation of the anointing. So I will just pray for you as God touches you and blesses you from next week you can do well to come and testify my apologies it's our culture to always take the testimonies and celebrate Jesus but now that we have taken time to do this we may just sacrifice that so that we can do the general prayer and then we do the impartation the impartation is a major part of tonight's meeting that's why many people traveled across nations and came here hallelujah there is somebody God is calling you into the prophetic. But it looks like you touch that realm and come back. You touch that realm and come back. Some of you even travel to come. The Lord is saying there is a mantle. There is a grace. It's a seer anointing. The grace, not just dreams. The grace for sight. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare before I pray for the sick. That grace for sight. Palato shatabagata in the name of jesus may your eyes be open to see may your eyes be open to see i open for you the vistas of the spirit with accuracy in the name of jesus christ take that grace right now hear me some of you is is a is a spiritual inheritance where you come from has that as a grace I'm saying this as a, prophetically you come from a background even a denominational background where God has given it as a spiritual inheritance I stand in faith with that ancient mantle I declare again for those called to the prophetic may your eyes be open to see
Just give me a minute and let this grace just, just really come on people. Believe me, there are people receiving this anointing. Some of you, your grandfathers were prophets. Your fathers were prophets. It's a spiritual inheritance given to you. It's time for you to walk in that grace. It's time for you to walk in that grace. The seer's anointing. The eyes that can see. See beyond time. See beyond science. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm ready to pray for the sick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. In the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus Christ who is that guy lifting his crutches He couldn't walk no 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 I'm not saying should. look at me my friend look at me in the name of Jesus Christ lift your crutches and walk just do what I'm asking you to do walk walk lift it up and walk Are you seeing what Jesus is doing? Come, walk. Don't be afraid. Lift it up and walk. He touched me. He touched me. And oh, what joy. Something happened. And now. He touched me. My friend, look at me. What happened to you? I got an accident. How long ago? One year. One year ago. And it looks like it's not healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare right now, right now, healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, I declare life to your limbs in the name of Jesus Christ life to your limbs life to your limbs I declare a supernatural reconnection of the fractured bone you came here believing my friend look at me stand up walk gently go Turn and come back. I'm about to pray for the sick now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this miracle remains permanent in your life by the power that raised Christ from the dead. And what do you do? I a computer wizard. You are what? A computer wizard. I'm not sure I got him. Computer wizard. No, don't. You are not a wizard. You are, you are a computer. You are computer savvy. That's all right. Choose. You. In the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle for you right now. I shift you by the Spirit, in Jesus' name. Now I want to pray for you. 
We are still praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Let him go. He's free. I decree and declare every spirit that is back of any infirmity and any disease, I command it to give way now. Give way now. I pray from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet, my God, I send such a strong anointing. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Be healed now. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Migraine headaches, be healed now. I'm hearing the name gastritis. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Help that woman. That's right. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. Any organ that is failing or has failed in your body, I prophesy to you by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be a brand new organ in your body now. Not just the healing of the current one, a brand new organ in your body now. Blind eyes open now in the name of Jesus. Someone has received a miracle there. Is that a miracle? Someone from crutch, the crutches are lifted. Is that a miracle? If that's a miracle, that's fine. Otherwise, if he's lifting it by faith, he can stand there and receive. Something has happened there. Well, we promise that we will not take hold there. In the name that is above all names. There's someone your right ear. It looks, I don't know if it's blocked or you don't hear completely with it. I command that ear to be open now. Every blood disease in the name that is above all names, we declare the cleansing of your blood now. Hear me please. If there is anyone here with any troubling genotype i stand by the god of heaven and i declare let there be a supernatural change of your genotype <laughs> believe it in the name of jesus christ any lump in or growth in any area of your body breast lump abdominal lump lumps around your body i cause that growth right now I cause that growth right now. I cause that growth right now. There's someone I'm seeing is like you have a problem with your fingers. You're not able to move your hands freely. The power of God is touching you right now wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone with a severe pain around your kneecap. You're having a severe pain around your kneecap. The power of God is touching you right now bringing you life and bringing you healing in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is telling me that there's someone you have a problem not just a problem smelling but I don't know what it is that happened to your nose I don't know if it's that there is a growth or there is a swelling it's very inconveniencing you're not able to breathe well right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead let there be a miracle for you now there's someone please don't feel embarrassed you don't have to come out um, you are losing weight drastically people think you are just fasting but this is not fasting at all you are eating what I'm seeing with the revelation God is showing me. There's something wrong with your liver. This is what I'm seeing. You are losing weight completely. Almost looking like someone who maybe has some, some kind of terminal disease. I don't know where that person is. But right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed from that infirmity. Every other sickness, every other infirmity mentioned or not. In the name of Jesus, be healed from it now. 
be healed from it now please lift your prayer requests i want you to pass it very quickly and i'll just give you a minute or two for those of you who are visiting the for the first time we usually come with prayer requests just as an expression of our faith in the lord jesus christ and would have the request here at the altar so that i pray and speak over it and if you're yet to pen down your request please you have a minute or two to just write this or you feel by the spirit that you should add something remember this is our last miracle service not the last service but the last miracle service for 2021 there's no miracle service for december because that would be during the break please write it very quickly following online you can send in your prayer requests all of the overflows please write very quickly and if your loved ones are connecting you can stand in and write for them please the moment you do that i like you to do well to just pass your request no one reads it pass it to the last person by the aisle and then left or right whichever and then we'll have our ushers come to pick it very quickly Let's do that very quickly because we're about to pray. I love this part of the miracle service because it is the most accurate expression of our desires. I'd like you to write believing unto you that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Believe me. Believe me. He answers prayers. Our Father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name oh our father hear us from heaven forgive us one more time our father who art in heaven Hallowed be thy name. Our Father, hear us from heaven. Forgive our sins. Please write it down very quickly. We're a people of prayer, we're a people of scripture based prayer. The Bible says this is the confidence that we have in Him. Our confidence is that when we ask anything in accordance to his will, his will is the jurisdiction of his response to the saints. He cannot respond to the saints outside of the scope of his word that is captured in his will. If God must grant answers to our prayers, the content, the requests must be consistent with the word of God. God does not just respond to the saints arbitrarily. He is bounded by the jurisdiction of his word. The word of God defines the coordinates for his response, his dealings with believers. This is the confidence that we have, the Bible says, that when we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And that now that we know that he hears, he heareth us, we have answers, the Bible says, to our prayers. Please quickly, quickly, let's have it when we're done. Please, let's bring it here very quickly. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. We cry, Abba Father. Two more times. We cry, Abba Father. Hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. 
Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Just a very quick announcement. All those who all those who came here to surrender their lives to Jesus, tomorrow by 5 p.m., 5 p.m. on the dot, we have a follow-up system for those who come um, to surrender their lives to Jesus. It will be at our other venue, the Daughters of Abraham, opposite Setraco. You can get more details um, from our PR desk immediately after service. But please, all those who, all those who surrender their hearts to Jesus Christ, do well to come. 5 p.m. on the dot, we'll meet with you there, share with you a few things, and then pray for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Please, can we rise while um, we collate the request? Please make sure all the overflows and our online family connect by faith. Connect by faith. Hebrews 11 and verse 6 says, For without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh unto God must come believing that he exists. He is. And then number two, that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mark eleven twenty four. Jesus was speaking and he said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, What things soever ye desire, 1124, Mark, when ye pray, he says, Believe that thou receivest it, and thou shalt have it. What things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that thou receivest it. You cannot have what you have not received. The protocol is that when you desire according to his will, you ask in prayer, believing. Are we together? And then you receive by faith. Then it becomes manifest. To have it means your hands will now handle it. But the first thing is that you must receive. And the Bible says, be anxious for nothing, it says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says, make your request known. Don't assume God knows. Make it known. Make your request known. So in obedience to that scripture, we're making our request known. The cure for anxiety, be anxious for nothing, but that in everything, by prayer, and supplication even with thanksgiving we are mandated according to scripture to make our requests known unto god hallelujah praise the name of the lord please stretch your hands towards these requests and just begin to pray in one moment that these egyptians i see today i will see them no more forever go ahead stretch your hands and release that word of faith let it come from the depth of your heart. Are you praying? Pray. Faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're praying now. You are mighty in our midst. You are mighty in this place. You're the faithful God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah unchangeable God unchangeable unchangeable God unchangeable God reliable God reliable God 
reliable God. You are praying. Father, we decree and declare. Let there be supernatural answers to these prayers. I lay my hands prophetically by the privilege of priesthood. In the name of Jesus Christ. When Hannah went to the temple to cry out her heart before the Lord. It was prophet Eli. Thinking she was drunk. She said no. Your maid is not drunk. But this is a woman communicating sorrow from her heart. And Eli spoke prophetically and sealed her desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Laying my hands upon these requests as a representation. The most accurate representation of your desires. I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Let there be supernatural answers. Let there be supernatural answers. Now arise, O oh Lord. Would you come to your resting place? You and the ark of your might. And then we will rejoice as we're clothed in your righteousness celebrate the bible says he that told you have asked for nothing it says ask and you will receive that your joy may be full i decree and declare whatever has robbed your joy as represented here you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again you will never see it in your life again. I declare unto you by the power of the word of God that these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent that must come in partnership with the spirit of God to make for answers to this prayer we compel their ministry right now and whoever says over his dead body for this request to be answered may their own prayer be answered in the name of Jesus Christ sincerely I pray for you May God shift systems and shift structures for the sake of your request. And whoever said, where is your God? May God use the answers to this prayer to answer them back. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this request. And I declare that everything that has stood over you, in the name that is above all names, we bring it under your feet. We bring it under your feet. We bring it under your feet. We command speedy answers to this prayer. In the name of Jesus. Speedy answers to this prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand, we're wrapping up. Let me speak finally over your life and God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having sufficiency in all things the Bible says that you may abound to every good work that means whatever spiritual engracing that will be required to make for your efficiency it is within the power of God to supply to the uttermost I decree and declare Every grace needed for the next level of your spiritual efficiency. Every anointing, every mantle, every supernatural supply of grace. Whether as wisdom, whether as favor, whether as counsel, whether as might, whether as the grace for dominion. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. Whatever has left your life 
that should not have left the bible says son of man can these bones live again he was not even seeing the bones he was saying would leave because they were scattered and fragmented he says only thou knowest then he said prophesy to these bones and the prophet said i prophesied as commanded and there was a sound i stand like ezekiel i prophesy as commanded everything that has left your life let it come back to perfect order now let it come back to perfect order now The Bible says the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. The king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon never to return again. I pray for you. Whoever must send for you as a helper of destiny to bring you out of that pit in the name of Jesus may God connect you to them. hallelujah exodus chapter 2 and verse 15 b and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 of the same chapter 2 and the king loved esther the bible says more than all the virgins and the bible says he took her he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti. The favor that enthrones in the name of Jesus, let it rest upon your life. <laughs> Exodus 3 and verse 21. And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Whatever makes for emptiness in your hands. In the name of Jesus, may the favor of God stop that season of drought. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you even by the supernatural power of the Holy Spirit the grace that makes for visibility it says you cannot light a lamp and put it under a bushel but you put it on top of a lampstand so that it will give light illumination to all who are in the room many of you are gifted many of you have been marvelously helped of god but there is no visibility to announce you in business in ministry those who need what you carry do not even know you are there i pray for you right now from where you are may you rise to an elevated position of visibility <laughs> hallelujah my bible says when a man's ways pleases the lord that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him i pray for you those who sit as gatekeepers of systems and structures who will not give you access because they do not like you may the father of spirits manipulate their heart to your favor in the name of jesus christ because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows. I pray for you, the grace that distinguishes a man among your contemporaries, may that grace for the sake of his majesty rest upon your life. In the name of Jesus, have you heard of this proverb? that in one day a nation is born it says but as soon as zion travails she shall put forth a son i declare speed to your accomplishments speed to your accomplishments in the name of jesus christ psalm 112 verse 1 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands. The Bible says his seed shall be mighty upon earth. I pray for your children. In the name that is above all names, you will never give birth for sorrow. You will never give birth for pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit waiting at the corridor of destiny, 
to hijack children and make sure they cause pain to parents we crush those spirits right now the bible says the generation of the upright shall be blessed i decree and declare not only your children but your children's children let the heritage of being blessed follow them then my bible says wealth and riches shall be in his house listen i have taught you here that there is the prophetic dimension as far as manifesting the abundance of the kingdom is concerned the prophetic dimension will never be a license for laziness and lack of diligence the bible says a diligent soul shall be made fat is that true and that he that waters will himself be watered yet there are times like i've taught you where you can have a healthy net oh peter there are times where your boat is okay there are times you are even at sea and your fishing skill is there but you will still not catch fish because it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth but of the Lord that showeth mercy at that time you need beyond your skill you need the advantage of the prophetic the Bible says and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet was she preserved I decree and declare by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic step into strange dimensions of the abundance of God. When they got to the valley of Tekoa, 2 Chronicles 20 and verse 20, the Spirit of the Lord came upon the prophet and he spoke. This is what he said. He said, believe the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. There is something called the prophet's reward. It says, he that receives a prophet as touching the office of that prophet, there are possibilities that follow every mantle and every genuine mandate from heaven. No man sent by God comes empty. There are engracings that accompany him and that at the instance of honor, you can be a partaker of that grace. I stand by the God who has shown me mercy and shown this ministry mercy and I pray for you. Experience the marvelous hand of God in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Last prayer point. It says, Thou shall call Joshua, in whom there is the Spirit, and thou shalt anoint him, and thou shalt take some of thy honor and place on him. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. And there is a grace that makes for honor. Just because you walk in integrity is not enough for you to carry honor. Honor means that the possibility of being despised has been taken away from your life. When God places that grace upon you, even kings will entreat your favor in the name of Jesus for everyone connected to this vision everyone who is here following online inside and outside is our heritage in Christ and part of the graces that follows this spiritual tribe may that mantle of honor rest on your life in the name of Jesus Christ by this impartation every semblance of shame and reproach let it be torn apart and taken out of your life in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray in jesus name i pray let's celebrate jesus with a a, a hand clap and a shout in one minute hallelujah praise the lord let's have the announcements very quickly please keep standing just a moment we're already done thank you for your patience just a very quick announcement okay now to remind you that um for the workers now our workers appreciation dinner by the grace of god would be on the 10th 10th of december 
this is exactly a week and two days. The heads of department will communicate to the various workers. And then again, to remind you one last time that our last service for 2021 will be on the 19th. We have about three more services left. Please give your heart to it. Invite as many people so that you will be touched, you will be blessed, and you'll be imparted in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So 19th is our last service. And uh, one more time, let me truly appreciate all who have taken out time to come. And a very pleasant surprise to let you know my biological mother is here in our midst. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Please celebrate my mother for me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Now, praise God. Please remember our medical outreach. I apologize for the poor quality of the, the production. I'm sure something happened. Um, what test running, this is the first of a series of outreaches. We believe in the scripture that says we are light and salt. And so our medical team is reaching out to one of the IDPs this Saturday. Please do well. They are looking for volunteers. If you are a medical doctor, or you are in the medical practice, lab technicians, nurses, please, I want you, after the service, just go to the back of the auditorium here, and the head of medicals will be there, Dr. Ochai, he'll be there to just address you. And then I was told that there are a few people who have desired to sow, even though it's just a test run to see how it goes, but please listen, if you desire to sow any seed to the medical outreach, please just make a transfer to the Koinonia account and Eternity Network International. Just indicate medical outreach where people of integrity and I assure you will collate the funds and make the right use of it. We do not want to give any other account because of scammers. I apologize, but we have to manage this. You know that we're still on an ongoing battle with people who just want to leverage on the influence to manipulate people. Anybody who tells you he wants to receive the money on your behalf, tell him it's not necessary. We have a functional account and you can make that transfer. Praise the Lord. And then if you want to see the medical team directly, you can see them and they'll direct you to the finance department. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed tonight? Let's share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, let it rest and abide with us now and forever. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you and see you next Sunday. All you can ask for according to the power that worketh in you, you God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause He won't give up on you.